hi everyone and thank you for watching so today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom commands and it's really not too difficult so this is something that even the new Linux user can enjoy so let's say for instance I wanted to create a command called docs so the first thing I would do is type docs by itself see if a command exists in this case it does not as we can see in this first string here command docs did not found um, so that is a perfect candidate for our alias so to create the command we first type alias docs equals and then the command that we wish to run so in this case I'll put documents documents like this and then I'll just type docs okay and what happened is whenever I type docs um, docs equals it ran the command cd tilde documents which I am now in my documents directory so to make this persistent what we have to do is modify our bash rc file so of course make a backup if you're not comfortable making changes but I've done this quite a bit that if I break it I'm excited I'll just try to fix it so anyways vi.bashrc and I will go to the end of my file um, so to keep things organized you want to avoid inserting your custom commands into anywhere other than a place that you can easily identify so for instance at the very last part of my file I have my custom value which is export ps1 which is the prompt string variable for my um, terminal so what I'm gonna do is type um, hash which is essentially a comment that doesn't do anything it's just words so let's do custom oops customer custom bash rc changes ah caps why not okay and then what we'll do is we will type alias vids equals and then the command we want to run so cd tilde videos okay alias let's do docs equals cd tilde documents and then alias pix equals cd tilde pictures and alias this is kind of a fun one dot 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 equals cd tilde and pretty much any command that you can run in the terminal um, I'm going to close that out um, you can run from an alias so just to kind of show you kind of what's happening here is let's go into our doc oops okay yep my aliases are now working and to reiterate let me go back here cat bash rc grep alias yeah, should just did the last one till minus and 10 four okay there we go this is a little bit more organized here so if I go into my right screen I could just type vids boom I am in my videos directory docs I'm now in my documents directory pics I'm now in my pictures directory and dot 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 all right looks like we are back home so this is exactly what we want to happen here so after you make the changes in order for the bash to recognize your new updated configuration you do have to type bash and that will reload your config so just keep that in mind if you make changes and nothing's happening you're probably just missing bash to reload your new config so that's it on that hope you enjoyed this quick command making video and to keep things um, summarized just add alias the command that you want to run and then within double quotes um, you're encapsulating the command that you want to run so cd vids is encapsulated within double quotes and then the command itself is vids and then to verify if something is available as a command just type some random stretch of characters on your command prompt and if you get a command not found or anything like this then it is a perfect candidate. So that's it on that, and thank you for watching. All right, take care. Bye.